In the high Himalaya is the verdant valley of Kashmir. Here, amidst great natural beauty, the thoughts of man have constantly turned to the wonder of creation. Since early times, Kashmir has been a renowned center of Brahmanical and Buddhist philosophy. It is here that the Indian philosophy of aesthetics was expounded in detail by the philosopher Abhinava Gupta in the 10th century. It is in Kashmir that Shaivism developed to great heights. The manifestation of Shiva in the beauty of the world around us was worshipped as Shakti. Unlike earlier austere forms of Buddhism, the Mahayana and Vajrayana schools flourished here. There is a very special quality of joyousness which pervades the art of this land, which is blessed by the bounty of nature. In the first century, the Kushana Emperor Kanishka held the fourth great Buddhist council in Kashmir. The site of Harwan on a hill near Srinagar is where the fourth Buddhist council is believed to have been held. It was here that Sanskrit became the language of Buddhist scriptures instead of Pali which was used before. This was also the first time that Mahayana Buddhism received major royal patronage. Earlier Buddhism was mainly an ethical message, which called upon each person to seek his own salvation through self-discipline. The new form of Buddhism brought the concept of bodhisattvas. These were beings who had postponed their own salvation to help others in the world on the path towards enlightenment. Followers could turn to them and pray for help. This form of Buddhism proved very popular and spread northwards and eastwards from Kashmir to Central Asia, China and Tibet. In the 7th century, when Xuanzang visited India, Kashmir was a flourishing center of Buddhism, which rivaled the importance of Magadha, the area in which the Buddha had lived and preached. <laughs> 